Good morning, CBBC Church family. Good morning, YouTubers, Facebookers, all you in the online world. I am Pastor Gabriel Valenzuela. Welcome to my daily encouragement. It's good to have you here with me this morning. It is Friday. Amen. That is my positive for the day. Uh, I My positive for today is that it is the end of the week. My week is ending, uh, beginning with the weekend. Praise God for that. We're going to have a good time tomorrow and Sunday. Um, and I'm just excited about that. I love my new job. I love pastoring. I love serving the Lord. I love our church people. And I love uh, uh, just being able to share the gospel with people. And so that's my positive for the day. Make sure you comment your positive for the day. Keep it positive. No negativity. Listen, let me encourage you on something. A lot of people are going to say a lot of things about you. A lot of people that you would expect to talk good about you. Or maybe even just not, you know, not say anything about you. But you're going to find and you're going to hear that people are going to say things and they're going to do things that are not pleasing to you. And that's okay because we're not here to listen to that stuff. We're here to listen to the Lord and His Word. And it doesn't matter what other people think. What matters is what the Lord thinks and how you act towards Him. And let me say this, if you have a um, testimony towards the Lord that is pleasing to God, then you'll be pleasing with men. And things that will be said of you that are not true will just kind of roll off your back because you'll know the truth and God knows the truth. Amen. So don't let what people say about you and do and think about you. Don't let it affect you. Just try to strive and please men. Please, I'm sorry, don't, don't try to please men. Just try to please the Lord. Amen. Sorry about that. Amen. I want to give you the word of God real quick. The Bible says here in Colossians chapter 3 and verse number uh, 23. This is a familiar verse and you know it. And the Bible says this. And whatsoever you do, whatsoever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men. And so talked about the weekend, talked about the end of the week. And, you know, many people have a habit of splitting up, compartmentalizing the week, they will uh, look at Monday through Friday as their work week. They'll look at the week, they'll look at Saturday as play day. And then they'll look at Sunday as worship the Lord day. And what ends up happening is they'll give effort to one area of their life more than they'll give to the other. They will serve work to a certain capacity. Uh, they'll serve Saturday play day to a certain capacity. And then they'll serve on Sunday worship day to a certain capacity. And I want you to know this, that According to this verse and according to what God expects, if we are Christians, we are to serve 100% in all aspects and areas of our life. You see, we should not look at our, our week as Monday through Friday and I'm done. Now I'm going to play day tomorrow and then Sunday worship. We should serve all week long like we do on Sunday. If you give 100% to your Sunday school class or to your church, to your worship service, if you give 100% to God, then let me tell you, let me encourage you that on Monday through Friday, you ought to give 100% to your work. You ought to give 100% to your supervisor. You might not agree with everything that happens at work, but you're working under the Lord. Whatever you do, we should do it wholeheartedly. We should do it with all our heart. Uh, when we have conversations with others, we should have clean, good, godly conversations. We should uh, work as unto the Lord. We should, uh, when we're out there having a good time with our family, we ought to, you know, we ought to show the love of Christ to others. We ought to uh, uh, just do it with 100% of our ability because listen god wants us that when we're doing something that we do it wholeheartedly it says and whatsoever you do do it heartily as to the lord and not unto men listen we're not here to showcase our abilities to men so that people can look at us and they can say hey look how spiritual that person is hey look how much that person knows hey that person talks about the bible and quotes scripture all the time i know a lot of christians that do that that they will uh quote scripture to you they will they will uh, uh, be spiritual on the outside. They'll have a lot of knowledge. But let me tell you something. Their life doesn't reflect what they actually say and preach or what they teach or what they talk about. And so when we do, uh, when we live our life, whatever we do, we should do it heartily unto the Lord and not unto men. And most of those people do those things because they want to be pleasing to men. But listen, I want to please my God and I want to be pleasing to him. If there's sin in my life, I want to confess that to him. If there's a uh, soul winning to be had, I want to be able to win souls as best as I can to his to the ability that he has given me. If there's church to be have, I want to worship it. If there's a, a eight hour job that I need to do on a daily basis, I want to give my 100 percent to uh, my supervisor because I'm doing it on behalf of the Lord. So let me encourage you, whatever you do, do it to all your ability 
um, because you're doing it for God. You're not doing it for men. Amen. Uh, quit trying to please men. Please the Lord and you'll be pleasing the men. Amen. I hope you have an incredible rest of your day. Have a great weekend. I'm excited it is the weekend. And uh, and I'm excited for what God's going to do on Sunday. I'm looking forward to seeing people come to church. And I'm just, I love church time. Amen. And so I hope that you show up to your church. Make sure that you are faithful to your church and uh, and be blessed. Amen. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, CBBC Albuquerque. Don't forget to like and share us on our Facebook page, Community BB Church. Have an incredible, blessed rest of your day. Amen. <music>